You may have heard that a lot of folks bailed on CES this year, but apparently they left their cars. Here's a look at the best ones we saw at what turned out to be a great auto show. Now, of course, the highly anticipated Chevy Silverado EV was the bell of the ball, and no one was surprised that it was introduced, but we did get some great tasty details. 400 miles of range, 664 horse, 780 pound-feet of torque, 10 electrical outlets, and a bed that harkens back to the avalanche with a mid-gate that can convert the bed length from just under six feet to just over nine. And the whole truck just looks huge. Yes, those are 24-inch wheels on that one. Inside, it'll be a shame to put a muddy glove finger on that dash, but I guess it can't be helped. The new Silverado starts at 40K. <laughs> sure it does. Not right away. The first models that come out will be over 100, a nice high trim launch edition of the RST model. But eventually, they'll bring out less expensive models as the year or two goes on after launch. A little trick the industry learned from Tesla. Were you thinking of something with a bow tie and a battery, but nowhere near that price? Got you covered there, even though it was almost buried in all the Silverado news. New electric versions of the Blazer and Equinox. They too are coming in 23, like the Silverado, with a version of the same Ultium electric platform that powers the pickup, differently configured as we'll find out, and most importantly hitting about a $30,000 price point, for the Equinox at least, and that's more like it. Why was I so underwhelmed by the Cadillac Inner Space concept? I guess I've seen too many of these autonomous living rooms on wheels with massive screens inside. Every car maker's done one. Does it ever occur to all these futurists that we're in front of screens at home all day, and when I get in the car, I might like the opposite of that? Like looking out at the world? Still, the thing is a looker. Now, as you may have noticed, car makers love to carry a single design language, as they call it, across the styling of all their cars. Except when they go to auto shows and they cut the other direction. Case in point, Mercedes Vision EQXX concept. Looks like a vintage 935 out back, a third generation RX-7 up front, and I mean that as a compliment in both cases. What it doesn't look like is stopped for a charge, since its range is imagined at 1,000 kilometers, 620 something miles. So much that they imagine you might only charge it once a month. Light weighting, aerodynamics slipperier than an American football, a radically smaller, more power dense 900 volt battery, and a deceptively compact overall size are how they got there. Here's the Sony Vision SO2. It is indeed Sony's second electric car concept. Another one was rolled out at a recent CES. Are they seriously getting in the car business? Apparently so, because they launched a new division to go with this SO2 called Sony Mobility. Tell me you're not doing this, Sony, because you think the world really needs a car with a built-in PlayStation. On the other hand, this might signal a new era when almost any brand can get into the electric car business relatively easily because of the spread of sub-manufacturers who are going to make the relatively simple electric components, assemble them for you, and stick whatever body you've styled on top of it all. Balenciaga Coupe, anyone? Then there was the BMW iX M60, a particularly potent version of their new electric crossover line. 610 horse, 811 pound-feet of torque, 3.6 seconds to 60. Now that's a sports activity vehicle. You'll get 280 miles out of a charge, and looking uncomfortably like the Tirpitz in North Atlantic camouflage, this iX shows a radical color-changing exterior that's essentially a huge Kindle screen on the outside of the car. Its e-ink finish means that it can change from almost white to deep gray, almost black at the push of a button or can do patterns of those two colors. Sound ridiculous? Well, tell that to the future owner who leaves one in the almost white color position during the summer in their hot climate and comes back to a much cooler car. Mm-hmm. Or leaves it in the dark mode during the winter for a slightly warmer one. Or when the car is disabled on the side of the road and instead of turning on some little LED flasher lights, you make the whole body flash light, dark, light, dark. That'll get someone's attention. If you like your art less stark, check out the new gallery features that you can choose to display on the dashboard screens of the iX M60. And this, by the way, is going into production. 
And in the second row of some future BMWs, they're now showing an ultra widescreen 31 inch entertainment display. This too is also coming to showrooms. This giant, very wide 8K display will be fed by a new built-in Amazon Fire TV device that is 4K. Mm. But again, see my previous comment. Does anybody look outside the windows when they're driving in the future? Chrysler apparently is a big fan of the Porsche Panamera Sport Turismo. Big fan. Named for one of the most innovative cars in American mid-century history, this new airflow is basically a design exercise that says we're going electric and we're going to look something like this, which is pretty darn good. In fact, Chrysler had the cheek to say they will be all electric by 2028, maybe as soon as 2025. That's like day after tomorrow in the auto industry. Now, they don't have a whole lot to clear in their catalog to get there, the 300 and the Pacifica. But if their future looks like this vehicle, you're going to be thinking about Chrysler quite differently. Finally, I'm not entirely sure this belongs in a list or roundup of automobiles, but it kind of does. It's Hyundai's PND concept. It could be a personal transport pod. It could be an autonomous delivery thingamabob. It could even be a hospital on wheels that docks with other ones. But what they have in common is this PND module, plug and drive, that's consisting of a wheel with an airless tire, electric motor, battery to power it, integrated braking, LiDAR, 360 degree autonomous steering, and all of this in a package that can go underneath the corners of almost anything and turn it into an autonomous mobile something. 20 bucks tells you we're buying these things in a four pack at Home Depot in 20 years.